The Virgus Show is brought to you by Spanky Stone Hearth. Casual fine dining on beautiful Rose Lake. Virgus State Bank, your locally owned community full service bank. Virgus Event Center for gatherings large or small, including weddings. Virgus Liquor Store, where all the profits profit Virgus. Make the right call. Call Hanson's, the most trusted name in plumbing and heating. Hi, welcome to The Virgo Show. I'm Sherry Hansen. Thanks for joining me today. I'm with Natalie Fisher of the Community Club. She's the one that's all in charge, uh, her and Helena Johnson. They're in charge of um, Virgus' Small Town Christmas. Take a look at Christmas around here, though. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, it isn't is, it? It is, yes. I think it's going to be fun um, just bringing people to town and because we have got a lot going on on Saturday, November 27th. It all starts at 2.30, goes to 5.30. Um, let's kind of walk through this and let's talk about being Besides Small Business Saturday, which right, is a big deal. Huge. Small Business Saturday is a big deal for our small town communities. And so <clears throat> we've kind of tried to figure out a way to bring people to town for that. So tell us a little bit about what we got going on on the event. Well, the big thing is our live nativity with Trowbridge Creek Zoo. So we'll they'll have all their animals. We'll have some people dressed up in characters. Um, then we'll have a gingerbread house contest that will be outside of Otter Coffee. So we want everybody to to create a gingerbread house for that. How do you get um, involved in the gingerbread contest? Do you, um, do they, well, what do they have to do? They just um, submit a form to Otter Coffee. Okay. And then <clears throat> bring the house in. It, you can bring it in ahead of time, any time before the contest, which the contest will be during that time, the sure, 2 during, to 5.30. Right. And then people can vote with money. Right. And then the money goes back to the community club. So it's Okay. It's really and fun. so each vote is a dollar, right? Right. Right. All right. So make that gingerbread a house yeah. and then tell all your family and friends to come in and vote on it, right? We get <laughs> more <what> every <laughs> year and they're so creative. It's really fun. And it is fun when people do bring them in a little mm -hmm. bit early. Yep. Okay. And then you can start looking at them and deciding. Okay. Yeah. All right. And so we got that going on. And then what's happening? Um, the tree lighting and reading of the Christmas story that will happen at the end at 5 p.m. Um, and so we're, okay, and so over by the post office where um, the Fury Funeral Chapel used to be, that's where we're going to be having the um, Christmas story read, and then that's where we have some new live music coming this year. Yes, Who do we have for that? That is Katie and Kathy Carroll's. Okay. So. Well, it's called carols. It's for caroling. <laughs> sure. Of course, they're going to be singing Christmas music. Right. And, and that's going to be live music live. outside the whole time of the event, correct? Yep. Hopefully she can have her guitar. If it's above 20, she said she can have her guitar. Otherwise, the strings <laughs> don't <laughs> quite work. So I then love she'll it. she'll do acapella. <laughs> yeah, okay. so we're excited to add that one. And so that will be all over there. And then and then the tree lighting. That will happen right at 5 o'clock, too? Right. We want to have more of a ceremonial tree lighting this year. So we want to do the countdown, like on Hallmark. 10, 9, 8. Sure. So we're going to do that. Um, we'll have the big tree by Franklin and the one in front of City Hall, and then there'll be a big one over by Otter Coffee here that will light at that 5 awesome. o'clock time. Tell me about some of the other trees that are going to be on Main Street. Yes, we have a festival of trees on Main Street, so all the businesses or some of the businesses are going to decorate the trees on Main Street. So we've got quite a few that are going to do that. Right. Um, so we're excited about that, too, and we're going to do the same thing there is vote with a dollar. Mm-hmm. And then the one that brings in the most money gets half the whole pot. And then, but they don't get to keep it. They get to donate it to a charity or organization that they oh, wish. That's so, a great idea. So yeah. each business can kind of put their own little touch on it, you know, yep. that, that represents their business. Uh, yeah, that's, I think that's it's going to really be fun. fun. That's a fun idea. Um, Santa Claus. Santa's this is a big to deal. Town of course, on he is. <laughs> yes, he's borrowing a sleigh from Farm 41, Denise and Brian Lehman. So we're excited about that. He'll be out here on Main Street. He will have um, stockings for everybody. Uh, every child will get a stocking with colors and coloring books and candy canes. And then lots of uh, donations for um, great big prizes that can be won. So every child will get a chance to win. There's bikes, there's dolls, there's Barbie houses, there's... Oh, how fun. Yeah, yeah. Now, do the kids have to be present? Um, and so that's going to happen right between like 5 and 5.30 also, right. correct? Right, it'll happen right at the end, yeah. And so I imagine, you know, the yeah, the, the children have to be present for that, and then they'll draw for some of those big prizes. And there's about, you know, 20 big prizes, isn't there? There is, yes. Yeah. And so yes. there's a good chance for kids to win things. I think with Santa and... Um, 
having the sleigh there and stuff too, it's going to create some family photo opportunities. Yeah, too. there's going to be some little trees around and some things in front of the sleigh where families can take pictures. So I think that's going to be a draw yeah, too. Okay, that's that sounds like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to be a little chilly. Uh, there's no doubt about it. It's winter, and so we're going to have fire pits and stuff around, aren't we? And we're hoping to. We're hoping the wind. Stays yeah, with down. The, yeah, that the wind stays <laughs> down, and so the fire pits will keep you warm. And then, how about hot cocoa? Is there gonna hot cocoa cookies? Uh, Loon's Nest are providing that for us. So. Oh, that's always nice. Good. All right. Do we have um, besides Trowbridge Creek Zoo? I think you had said Firefly was going to be here. Right. We'll have uh, the Nativity with Trowbridge over on one side, and then we'll have Firefly Ranch on this side, and they're bringing fainting goats, horses. <laughs> Have you ever seen fainting goats? No, I haven't. I haven't either. I've I'm kind of they're excited. Quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I do too. I, I think the kids will really get a kick out of I that do too. too yeah. yeah, and so that that is, sounds like a lot of fun. Um, when you were talking, we were. I'm going to backtrack to the trees and stuff because um, we did add something this year called the Giving Tree. Tell me a little bit about that, Natalie. We are going to have a tree with um, ornaments that have uh, labels on them to um, provide gifts for children that need gifts. So mm -hmm. we're getting a list from the Frazee School. Okay. And so um, children in Vergas or Frazee will, we're trying to get that list of those that need Okay, so the schools, yeah, the schools providing the names and then the names, or the, not the names of the children, but the the ornament will be on the tree and then you are able to get that ornament off of the tree. And where will the tree be located on Saturday? We're going to have it over by the where the caroling is going on. Okay, so I and think so I'll over have by the right post office. Yeah. Sure. And so in that area. So you can get that and then you can purchase that gift for that child and then you bring it back to your to shop? To my store, yeah. Okay, Natalie to Natalie's Serendipity. Serendipity, and then you do that before? The 14th of before December. Before the 14th of December. Okay, so if there's still some names left on that Giving Tree after Saturday's event, um, where will that tree be at? The bank. Oh, the, sure. It'll be at the, the okay. Bank, and yeah. so the Giving Tree, um, I know a lot of communities have it, but it just shows you that there are is a lot of need. There are kids that just do not have those gifts that, um, are just mm -hmm. in plenty under under the tree and so um, I think that's really a nice thing that we're going to be mm -hmm. able to add to this and the Frazee Virgo School has really been helpful in, in providing those names yes. and so um, yeah I, I, I think that that really sounds like a good idea too and so um, besides that we've got holiday bucks that are going to be starting that day and so on the Vergas Community Club um, made the decision to again provide holiday bucks at a at a twenty percent discount. So you can purchase a hundred dollars worth of um, holiday bucks, but only pay eighty dollars, and then they're good for any Vergas Community Club business that is in Vergas and. Um, each family can purchase up to two hundred dollars, and those go on sale during Small Town Christmas, don't they? They, they do. They right start at 2:30. right at two thirty, um, right outside of, um, in between Natalie's and Otter Coffee. There'll be a table set up, and um, there's ten thousand uh, dollars that is out there available in holiday bucks that will go right back into the community. Will right, go right back into our businesses, and so. The community club felt that two thousand dollars is definitely worth it for our businesses to be able to have a little bit of a boost at Christmas mm -hmm. time. There are some stipulations on it. Um, that you cannot buy gasoline, alcohol, or tobacco, and so mm -hmm. I'm, and you, you just want to use it wisely because it, it, it's just really nice for each family to be able to have some of those funds to be able to spend back in the community. So what else do we have going on that we want to talk about with Small Town Christmas? Well, the one thing we haven't talked about is the um, sleigh rides. Oh, We're gonna yes. We're going to have sleigh rides on by the church. Okay, and so church. up by the Methodist Church, uh, the there'll be horses and and, yep. and sleigh. Oh, on a sleigh. nice! It's always been a draw. We've had lines for that, so we're hoping it works out. Um, kind is of there a fee for that? There isn't. There is not. The community club has um, provided that also for people to be able to do, and so. <laughs> It sounds it's like, be you know, <laughs> it reminds me of like a Hallmark type scene Christmas. You That's know? our goal. <laughs> that is our goal, <laughs> isn't it? We talk about that at the community club meetings. And so on Saturday, November 27th from 2.30 to 5.30, you're going to want to come to Vergas because you're going to get into the Christmas spirit and at the same time just have an enjoyable time for your family. There's going to be kids events. There's adult events. Um, you know, when you're done at 5.30, make sure you stop at one of the local restaurants and, and just 
extend up your evening um, having been in Vergas. Right, and then the stores are going to be open and um, sales too, so. Okay, the stores will be mm -hmm. open that late yeah. too, won't they? And yeah. so, well, Natalie, thank you and Helena very much for organizing all this. It takes a lot, and, um, but. Well, you thank you for your help. <laughs> You're always helping with well, everything. Well, you know, all the community <laughs> club is, and so it, it, it's just a great thing, and we just love seeing you come to Vergas. So you have a good day in Vergas.